Yeah, it kind of looks like a ram or a deer or something. Cross between that. And it just like jumps. It like jumps really fast all around. Um, so it, these people are being compared to a gazelle because a gazelle is really fast. So next up, okay. So I want to pick some sticks wherever they are. Um, and have a person come up for this first one and move these around. We have a ox, coal, a cucumber, a piece of paper, a feather, and we were kind of confused about this one. We didn't know if it was a skyscraper or it was like a giant or a Whoa. superhero or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, something like that. So how about the first one? As light as a... Antony. Antony. As light as Antony. Her? Oh, I grabbed the wrong one. Lord of a Yeah, perfect. You have to go, you can't go free. Right. Okay, so as light as a feather. Why? These are kind of idioms, don't you think? These are kind of... Um, what we say to describe certain things, and um, as light as a feather, that's something that I would say, um, let's see, if I were to pick a baby up, I would say he or she is light as a feather, because she's just really lightweight. Like that. How about the next one? Um, as black as... Anna. Vincent just drew Anna. Anna, sorry. Anna. Anna, come up. Don't take your go. I'll go. I'll go. Anna, Anna. Anna, go up there. Go. Oh, okay. Wow, looks like a mushroom cloud. Perfect. As black as coal. So if I was describing um, Mickey's binder here, I would say this binder is black as coal. <laughs> okay, what about as white as. What's it? Adam. What's Aaron? Aaron. 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 He says Aaron. 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 As white as a peak. Adam. Yeah. You could, you could say that. As a piece of paper. As a piece of paper. You want to move it? As white as a piece of paper. So if I were describing, let's say I was writing a story and um, my character got really scared, I would say she was as white, her face was as white as a piece of paper. And that's just describing how her color faded from her face. Alright, next up, as strong as and... Uh, as strong as strong as and it just as strong as as strong as an axe. No, it's the giant. No, it's the it's the giant. It, it also could be the How giant. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's like as strong as an axe, right? Oh, it's a big Right, Calvin? A metaphor does not use light or house. 
So, Tom is a sly fox. Oh, that was supposed to be. <laughs> so, why is Tom a sly fox? Tony? Stars, right? Oh, this one is the. Why is it. Why is sly fox in that sentence? Like, what, is that, what does that mean? Why am I calling Tom a sly fox? What's my reason? He's what? Bass? Okay. Oh, what about oh, Sly the Brook? He's clever and sneaky. Because you saw it. Yeah. Yeah. Clever and perhaps sneaky. So a Sly Fox kind of creeps around, right? With that visual image of a fox kind of creeping and creeping on its prey. So it's clever and perhaps sneaky, and so is Tom. Oh, I love that Charlotte is a person. Uh, I used to watch it. Alright, we're going to write our own metaphor. So this is like the cutest kid I've ever seen, right? So the child is a... Anyone? Vincent? Drostic? Cam. Cameron. Cameron, we're going to write up on here um, the, the words that you think the child is. Remember, we have to talk about two unlike things. We have to have a reason for comparing them. For example, last class, um, Priscilla, was it? Yeah, she said, the child is a silly goose. Because a silly goose, or a goose and a child. A goose and a child are two unlike things, but they're being compared to the same. Does that make sense? McKenna, do you have an example? Yeah, the child is a devil. Yeah! yeah. 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 Thank you. Yeah, this girl is a devil. Yeah! 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 Yeah!
Taking them um, to the medical center today. 